Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Star Trek Online Klingon Edition where we are by Starbase 157 Okay Why am I here? Am I fighting the, the Federation again? Certainly seem to be So let's see what we gotta do Okay If this rescue plan is- oh we're, we're rescuing- oh yes I- I Kinda remember <laughs> <laughs> Remember what's going on. Okay, uh, I gotta punch a hole through the Starbase's defenses. That sounds like something I am perfectly capable of. Let's cloak. Yes. Nobody's gonna know where I am. I am a sneaky Klingon. No one's ever gonna find me. Ooh, there's, there's lots of stuff going on here. So you know what? Hi. Hi, guys. How are we all doing? Rapid fire on everything. Oh, no. Come here, you. Come here. You are getting away from me, and I don't like it. Oh! It exploded, and I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, rapid fire. Rapid fire on everything. Oh, yes! Turn, turn your bow to face him, because we're wasting our chances. Eh, ah, knackers. It wasn't very good. And fire? What? My weapons are offline. How dare you! Get out! <laughs> So how big of a hole am I having to punch? It's a rather broad explanation of what I need to be doing. Is it going to be fist-sized? Is it going to be, you know, just this a few ships? It's certainly going to be more than that, I think. Go on. Off you go. Thank you. Or at least I'm a polite Klingon. You know, I've got my P's and Q's and all of that. There's, there's lots of ships around here. Am I going to have to punch through all of them? That suits me. I am happy to do as much punching as I need to do. Give me some more abilities. Activate. Come on, get into range. There we are. Oh, yes, that's the kind of volley that I like to see. And a torpedo for good measure. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, my shields are offline. I don't like that. Somebody fix that for me, please. Oh, destruction. This is what my brothers will sing about in the future. Long after I'm dead. I'm really impressed with this Rapture. It's holding up really well. Give it two more levels and it'll just get mulched by any kind of moderately big ship. You're going after the... Why are you just going after the Peregrine? That's that's a kind of waste of your time, but why not? They They started this fight. I'm finishing it. Oh, yes, that's what I want to see. <laughs> that rapid fire skill is just so damn good. Ah, oh, such beautiful explosions. Target shields have failed, have they? So is there everything else. <laughs> that's a big explosion for a little ship. It's been carrying a big payload or something. There's even more of you. Get fucking wrecked. Get absolutely ruined, mate. I, I like this ship. I've really been enjoying going down the uh, escort route. They're, they're a really fun class of ship. Right, which, which one am I attacking? It, it is you. Okay. I wanted to be sure. Make sure that I'm aiming things in the right direction. I've got a Thoron infused singularity core. Okay. Well, I can't use that because I've not got the right kind of ship. Uh, you're fairly far away. Why don't you come over here? Why don't you get into my line of sight and disappear? Come on, come on. Ah, oh, your, your hole nearly went. You're, you're coy. You're being coy. Oh, there we go. I was going to say you're coying me. That, that's not quite the term, is it? Ah, oh, Harpeng torpedoes. Really overpowered. Ooh, explosions, destruction. Everything that Klingons love. All I'm missing now is some blood wine and gach. These peregrine fighters are being really annoying. They're you know, just sitting there poking at my shields, and it's just kind of... Could you, could you not? Could you stop being annoying? You know, they're, they're pretty nimble as well. They're tough to hit. They just, you know, except for when that happens. Oh, that torpedo might have been slight overkill. <laughs> and I don't care. Right. Uh, oh, God. 
there's there's ships. Are, oh, okay. There's a gap that will allow us to beam aboard the starbase. Fantastic. Beam aboard. Let's go down. Oh, the bloody alarms are going off. They have a full complement of runabouts. Oh, right. Yes, that's what, why we're here. We need to steal one of those. Okay, let's change up weapons. How do I do that again? There we are. I want my rifle. So, let's find ourselves a runabout. Disable the tractor beam. Okay. Where where do I go to do that? Uh, oh. I, sorry. I, oh! I know you're only little, but I, I don't want you yelling and alerting anybody else. So, so, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh. You guys are eagle-eyed. I didn't spot him there. Doesn't matter now, he's dead. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> The rest of you are just standing in the door or behind the doorway. Bosh! Hey. Kagan, was that you? It's always you. Being cheeky with the bloody grenades, isn't it? I don't think this is where I need to be going. Well, there's an arrow on my map. I should be following that. Everyone, everyone following me? Yes, please. And thank you. Good, come on. I'm the one in charge. You should be following me around. Ooh, big old squadron. Get you all in my sights. Throw a grenade! Oh! What a shot! Excellent throw. Oh, this is good fun. I'm enjoying this. It's like a good old Viking raid. <laughs> but in space. Are we going in... Not in this room, but there, there's people! Hello, people! How are you all doing? Oh! That was a seriously hard rifle, but... Oh! Do, Explosions, grenades, all that sort of explodey goodness. Don't know what I'm on about anymore. Would would you stop rolling face first into the wall? That's is that what they taught you in training? Because if it is, then there's something wrong with the curriculum. Okay, what's this? There's a big old tank. It's a series of big old tanks. Is this what powers it a tractor beam? Okay. This is news to me. Saying that, I'm not a Starfleet engineer, I don't know. Uh, they've locked down the computer system. We need to take control of the tractor beam to ensure that we can escape with the runabout. Uh, we need to get down to engineering. Okay. Let's go down there. Assuming is around here. This looks like engineering. Oh, goody. Oh, hello! <laughs> nope. Ow. Excuse me, is anybody here able to direct me to where I can take over your computers? I need to disable security measures or something? I don't know. I barely read the language. I'm, I'm not from around here. Uh, I, is it this one? Okay, thank you. There we go. Now we can steal a runabout. With more Starfleet officers wandering around. Oh, how do they not know that I'm here? I don't know. Let's f get their attention. That didn't get their attention. <laughs> Grenade explodes behind them as they're walking down a corridor. <laughs> Do you hear something? No. <laughs> Must be the wind. There's no wind. There's no wind. We're in space. On a space station with an artificial environment. Why would there be wind? Oh, God, we need to disable the docking locks. Okay, let's do that. Ow, wow, hello. Why were you hiding behind my text panel? That's rude. Oh god, Bolero, where did you come from? You drop kicking people again. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> well done. She'd probably drop kick me if he if she actually heard me say that. You know. <laughs> Don't fuck with Klingon women. <laughs> they're, they're deadly. Look, you stop it. You you're doing me a hurt, and it's not good. I do not appreciate it. Can I have some health, please? Can somebody give me some health? So where do I disable this docking clamp? Oh, somewhere up there, maybe? Control room? Shuttle bay control room. There we go. Ah, hello! I had a feeling this was going to be full of people. I saw red blips on my radar. That, that often alerts me to things. Okay, now that we've, now we've murdered like half of the station's population, I think we can steal a shuttle. All in a day's work, I guess. All right. Steal a shuttle, or steal a runabout from the shuttle bay. It's not quite a shuttle, it's a little bit more than that. It's, you know, in, in between. Right, let's leave. 
the Federation ships in orbit around the penal facility aren't reacting to us as hostile, but I wouldn't put too much stock in that. As soon as we do something unexpected, they'll come running to investigate. We need to act quickly to disable the security measures around the station so we can beam aboard and rescue our warriors. Okay, we're disabling security satellites. So, as long as I don't go antagonizing anyone, because... <laughs> I'm not in something that's equipped for taking on probably even a Miranda. I don't know. I think, you're, I think a runabout could give a Miranda class a run for its money. You know, it was a good hundred or so years difference between the two classes. Let's just try and get close to one of these beacons. I want to see what happens when we disable it. Ooh. Ooh. No, I didn't want to accelerate the full impulse, you fool. Right, let's just bring ourselves to a halt. Disable security beacon. Or security measures. Unidentified runabout, you are not cleared for access to the security beacons. Please come to a complete stop and prepare to be boarded. Uh, knackers. Uh, nope, 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 nope. God damn it. Like, this isn't going to draw attention to you, is it? No. Jesus. This is not a good way of going about things. It really isn't. Oh, yep. This runabout's giving a Miranda a good run for its money. Nicely done. Alright, that's the first beacon dealt with. Let's go for this one. The one that I was sitting next to when I thought I was dealing with this one. Probably gonna have to take out this ship as well. Yep. There we go. Another ship alerted. And of course it's you. I had a feeling it would be. Oh god, he's off. <laughs> She's off, I should say. Fire. Oh, yeah, that did it. <laughs> night, night. Ah! Beacon 2. Disabled. Ah, without alerting anyone. Nice. So I'm not going to have to fight things every single time. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Is it going to be you? Yeah, there's going to be you. <laughs> Are you a centaur class? You look like it. Pew pew! Fire, fire, fire! Give me all the damage. Give me you having no shields. Let's swing us round. One more torpedo should do it. It's definitely gonna do it. Oh, yes! Beautifully executed. Both the maneuvers and the ship. Where's my last beacon, then? Is it down here? Nice. We're all done. Let's beam in. Go and great. Go and save our friends. Not really friends, but you know, I'd known them for about half an hour by the time they got kidnapped or captured. Whatever it was that happened. Sable force field and release Klingon prisoners. Right. Where do we go from here? Point me in the direction, and I shall point my gun there first. Sup, guys? How's it going? Grenades? Grenades and shotgun blasts. You know. Everybody's favourite fun time. Especially mine. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been possible to go and sneak around all of you guys, but you know, I wanna be direct. I wanna I wanna be prompt and abrupt and make myself known. Obnoxious Klingon is obnoxious. Hello. You are pretty tough. You're taking a lot of damage. I didn't do you much good. Didn't last you long enough. Right. Okay. Let's turn off the prisoner force seals. Don't get wedged into the desk. Good God, Wargasm. Right, come on. There we are. Yeah, a little bit of freedom. Oh, oh no grenades. Ah. Right. I'm looking for some Klingons. Could anybody point me in the direction of some Klingons? There's one. You're a Norsican, aren't you? Yes, you are. I think there's another one around here somewhere. You're one. Hello, old Klingon. You have got a weird hairstyle for that shape of head. Hey, hey, I'm not going to knock it. Hey, I got a weird hairstyle for my shape of head as well. But, you know, to each their own. As long as you think it looks good, that's all that matters. Boom. Hello. Oh, get out that grenade blast radius. Going to be dangerous for you. 
I know there's glory and honor in death, but don't let it be pointless. If you can avoid it, stick around to slay another day. Do you guys not hear all the commotion from the other side of this room? I mean, I know it's a big room, but surely you should have been paying attention to things. Some of you were even looking there, you know, just kind of watching it all happen. Not particularly observant. All right, disable the force fields. Nicely done. Okay, now we've got to get to the shuttle bay. Oh, I do love all this running around. It's so good for my Klingon cardio workout routine. <laughs> Wait, was I... Oh no, there was a force field here before when I came came through. Yeah. Hello! Hello, people! Oh god, drop kicks for everyone! <laughs> well, if you haven't got any, like, guns or batlas, then yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Just drop kick everyone. Blera seems to do quite nicely with it. It works well for her. And she's got guns. Oh. God. I, I can't beam to the runabout. I'm busy fighting. Right, what are we doing? Flying runabouts out, people. Right, there we are. Okay, the warriors can take these runabouts while we beam back to the one we left in orbit. Okay, let's do that. Let's all go. I'm sure you guys will be fine. Okay, all they're off. Alright, meet up with the Klingon battleship. Can do. Oh god. What are you doing? What are you shooting at? There's another runabout. Guess we better take him out. I hope you guys aren't getting us killed. That's going to be very bad for our health plans. I've lost my runabout friend. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's, he's over there somewhere. We're having a showdown with as many of these small ships as we possibly can. I think. Oh, frigate. Frigate, hello. Why, why, why did he have to pick this fight? Or why did they have to pick this fight? It's just, just daft of them. We should have just made a runner, you know, done a runner, and been content with that. I mean, I'm content to sit here and blow things up as well, but you know, we could be, we could be getting on with the rest of our day. Right? Are we, are we all done, or should we just try and get toward this bloody battle cruiser? I'm going to the battle cruiser. Because I'm, I'm not faffing around trying to take out every single bloody shuttle that comes out to fight. Where is this battleship, anyway? I do not see it. Cloaked? Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, it's a Negva. I like these. Can I help? Can I help taking out this thing? I'll make myself useful. Oh, yes. Massive explosion. Alright, let me dock with this ship. Love this ship. Really want an Egvar. Will you will you stop moving around? I'm trying to talk to you. For fuck's sake. I don't I don't know what he's doing. Wh Return to factory settings, default position? I don't know. There we go. Kaplah, indeed. Fantastic. All right, let's warp to Konos. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Wait, why to Konos? I need to go and get my ship back, don't I? Or am I just keeping this runabout? Ah, there we go. Back in my Raptor. What in the world is this thing? That is a very interesting design. I like the shark teeth. <laughs> sung about your glorious victories. Those warriors owe you their lives and their honor, and your empire owes you a debt of gratitude. There's something weird about the way Jumpox says empire. It's, it's more of an I, empire. It's like, a very weird pronunciation. It's just It just feels ever so slightly off. Oh, wow. Fuck, you're huge. Okay, bye. Oh, some of the Klingon ships just look so... I... I see these things around a lot. Oh, God! <laughs> They're fucking incredible. They look so cool. 
<laughs> I don't know where he's going or what he's doing, though. But okay. Um, right, so we got rewards for that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, nothing I needed to pick. Aha! Level up. So am I getting a new mission from you? Okie dokie, that sounds like fun. Everything we should be. Right, uh, back into deep space then. We'll fly off to the Donatu system. However long that's going to take a warp fucking six or whatever I can do. 5.6. It's worse than I thought. Oh, that being said, I can push it up to 6.7. Let's do that. Right, the Donatu system. Set a course. Alright, what's in store for us here? Defeat enemy forces. That's my favourite thing to do. Ooh, and yes, there's a fleet here to help us. Very nice. Okay, what have we got? True Way Federation, and we've got to disable the Axon. Ah, oh, that's a name I recognise from the Fed campaign. Alrighty. Let's do all of that. Federation's over that way. True Way's over this way. Don't know where everybody's going. Not... I think I, I've engaged the enemy. I'm getting busy with it. <laughs> oh, rapid fire. Go on. Fucking demolish it all. Oh, dear. Shields are all disappearing. Hulls go in places as well, and I don't like it. Go on. Off you go. I need Gala class. Oh, the Axon's having a go. That's why I'm hurting. All right, let's get rapid fire on. Dish out as much damage as we can. <laughs> it's so good. Such a good skill. I love it. Do you wanna do you wanna get disabled? Yes, you do. Good. Uh, let's go off to the command cruiser. You seem like a good next choice. Oh god. The Axon is still fighting out something or other. I don't know what. Oh! Goodbye. <laughs> you weirdly designed thing. So there's a cruiser left. And a science vessel. It shouldn't be too tough. Shouldn't be too tough at all. You know, if everybody else wanted to help, that would be nice. Never mind, I think I got it. <laughs> oh, such wanton destruction. Oh, it's an Excelsior. I like the Excelsior. I don't want to blow it up. <laughs> Kinda of got to. Off the refit and all, and I really like that one. Right. One more rapid fire burst should do it. And a torpedo for good measure. <laughs> okay, we gotta board the Axon. Wait, if I remember from the Federation campaign, this is the uh Alright, okay, yeah, let's approach the Axon. Oh, we can beam over already. Okay. Is this gonna be the uh Davidians thing? Are the Feder is the Klingon campaign gonna go down go down a similar route? Chasing shadows. Hmm. Oh no, but there's Cardis, so I'm taking them out. Bloody spoonheads. Come here. Wongasm, why are you not firing your gun? You you're a pretty piss poor soldier if you can't do that. Okay, we gotta get to the bridge. I don't know why, there's something about that line from first contact. The, I don't know, just... I really like the way Patrick Stewart delivered that line where he's just kind of looking at all this. I think it was after he did um, the... took out the Borg on the holodeck. And he was looking at their kind of nanoprocessor, or neural processor, I should say. Um, and he just had that really gravelly, oh, got to get to the bridge, sort of line. And I just really like the way he sold that, or the way he delivered it. it Kind of, ah, oh, it's, it's hard to describe how I feel it kind of comes across. It was just kind of like, you know, exasperated and exhausted, but still had so much purpose of what he needed to be doing. 
He wasn't going to let the Borg take over his ship. I think... I think if anybody asked me, like, if you had to pick, like, one Starfleet captain out of, like, the, the big five, or potentially the big six now, with uh, Discovery and Lorca, um, who it would be, I think Picard just about comes out on top for me. For me, it's a toss-up between Picard and Cisco. I think. Like, they, they've been my two favourites, but I am really liking Lorca from Discovery. He's really good. Yep, we're, we're dealing with Davidians. Okay. Things going to get spooky. We're gonna, excuse me, sir. I would, I would like to shoot you in the face. Do you want to sit down for this? <laughs> Bosh! There we go. Good old Bosh. There's some stuff to go and collect, but I can't be bothered. I'm going to hop across the tables. Captain, did you see that? I did. It was a ghost. My fucking ghosts. Um... Right, I've got to investigate things. I've got to check the dead Cardassian on the floor, haven't I? Yep. Right. In the name of Kalos, what was that? My eyes may be playing tricks on me, but I thought I saw some sort of creature. This Cardassian doesn't have any wounds on him, but my readings show he was dead before we entered the room. Yeah, we need to go and find a med kit from there. What I could assume would be a sick bay, but it's more of an interrogation center. Uh, it's a load of cells. Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> no, it's nothing wrong with the environmental systems. Give me, give me all this. Uh, use your med kit, medical tools. Um, oh yes, I know. I need. To, oh, I need to read the patient records. Uh, that's the thing that I'm missing. Just need to get a primer for all of the various things that are going to be in the med kit, so I know which one I need to use. Uh, is it a neurolite probe? I think that's the one that I need. Right, that's all of the records read. Gather medical tools from Medbay. So, to investigate you. Use Medkit. There we go. Neurolite probe, I think, is the one that I need. There we go. Right. Let's go and do an autopsy. Hello, dead mate. I need to, I need to check bits of your brain, if you don't mind. Radical decrease in... He died from a radical decrease in neural energy. It was almost as if he was drained by an outside source. All of the brain's activity came to a complete stop as its energy was depleted. Yep, that's Davidians, all right. Uh, an alien race that was seen in the next generation. When they go back in time to... There's... What was it? Something about finding Data's head in... Uh, an archaeological dig, and it had been there for something like 400 years. Um, Alright, okay, what are we looking for? Triolic waves. There we are. And, yeah, they end up going back in time, meeting Guinan in the past, and hanging out with Mark Twain, and all this ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> Fun, ridiculous couple of episodes, but yeah, these guys, the Davidians, were everything that was... They were what was behind it. They feed off mental energy, or kind of, you know, brainwave energies. But they're just creepy, spiritual, alien things. Non-corporeal, whatever the bloody hell they are. Ah. What if this means we're going to be going down to Josanna Station? Doing things in there, because that's a really creepy bit. That, that gets into, like, kind of proper sci-fi horror. Like, ranges of everything being really dark, and you've got a flashlight, and... Oh, it's nice and creepy. I hope that we're going to get to do that, because I never showed that off during Meat Shield's playthrough. And I really wish I had, so if I get an opportunity to do this with Wargasm, then hell yeah, I'm going to do it. Because, why wouldn't I? Oh, get out of it, you phantasm. We are... Are you the phantasm of the opera? The phantasm of the axon? There we go, that's going to be my episode title. <laughs> Probably won't. I don't know what. I don't know what my episode title is going to be. I'll figure it out when it comes around to upload time. Don't pressure me! I'm... I'm... <laughs> Alright, well. We, we've killed a spiritual being. Awesome. Access to ship files. Not going to need to listen to all this. Captain's log. Yeah, chief engineer's log. Okay. Blah, 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 we discovered stuff to do with Triolic Waves, and then all of this bad stuff started happening. The end. For us. 
Oh, beaming out in unison. I love it. Come on, look him in. Uh, are you sure that you found no sign of the Cardassians attempting to open a portal or otherwise bring, bring the Davidians into our phase variants? This is troublesome. There's places to the puzzle I don't have yet. I will reach out to my people and see if any of them have more information. Rejoin the fight against the Federation, and I will contact you as soon as I know more. Excellent. Well, what are we going to have? We're going to have a subspace field modulator. Um, we could do. I may as well. It's a rare ship device, and shields are going to get outclassed eventually anyway, so I'll have that. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Nice. And spin the wheel. Yes. Undercover agent at Drosana, Drosana Station. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to leave things off. We've gone up a couple of levels, and we're retreading old ground from the Federation campaign. And I'm really looking forward to showing off uh, some of this stuff, because it does get kind of eerie, and it's good fun. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Trapped within these walls, left our souls to drip away. The ink decays, the walls are paid, but the reckoning has come today. You say, Boris has no guts, cause you replaced it with mechanical string of his own. I don't know what it is, but I, it's not fun, I'm not enjoying it. Fucking Christ. Oh, why?